And so today we're jumping into the latest iOS 18 beta 5 update. This version comes with some cool new features like the distraction control in Safari, which helps you hide annoying elements on web pages for a cleaner look. The Photos app also got a makeover, making it easier and more intuitive to use. Now we're going to be checking out some of the other UI tweaks and improvements designed to make your overall experience smoother. So stay tuned as we break down everything new in iOS 18 beta 5. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco. And so today we're going to be talking about all the new features that came with iOS 18 beta 5 and also show you how to download and install the beta for yourself. So please make sure to subscribe to our channel because there is a lot to cover. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Here's everything that's new with iOS 18 Beta 5. Starting off with the Photos app. The carousel interface has been removed, improving access to albums and increasing the visibility of the All Photos grid. And while I was already starting to get used to the carousel interface, I don't really dislike having things look a little more familiar to me. It seems like this is a rather unpopular addition, so Apple did end up fixing it, and I do like how it is now either way. Safari Distraction Control. A new feature allows users to block certain elements on web pages such as sign and pop-ups and other overlays. This actually applied to things such as sign and pop-ups and the like, which is really appreciated here at least. Dark mode icons new dark mode icons for Find My and Maps. Now, this isn't anything big by any means, but these icons are pretty cool, and the more we end up seeing these, then the better it will be for everyone. I'm always messing around with customizing my iPhone, so I absolutely love that these things are being included. There be it slowly. Control Center Icons. Redesigned icons for screen mirroring and cellular data. This is yet another very small addition to the interface for Control Center, but it is something worth noting because this is one of those technical enhancements that we received as Apple continues to tweak iOS 18 before its full release in the fall. Stolen Device Protection. This can now be managed via the Privacy and Security menu in the Settings app. It just makes it a little bit easier to access, which is nice, as things are not always super easy to find on the iPhone. Home Screen Edit. A new Edit Pages button in the home screen lets users select and hide specific home screen pages more easily. This is great because you can make changes in a much more efficient manner if you have to do a large-scale change within your home page. I love this feature for customizations. Now that's pretty much everything that is new with iOS 18 beta 5. So let's go ahead and move on to how to install iOS 18 beta 5. Part 2. Here's how to install iOS 18 beta 5. We are now going to talk about how to install iOS 18 beta 5 onto your device. Here are the steps to installing iOS 18 beta 5 onto your iPhone. First, you have to enroll into the Apple developers program, which is super simple and easy to do. And it's also completely free if you just want to try out the beta. So on your web browser, go to the Apple developer website. So just go ahead and sign up for the program by logging in with your Apple ID. So once you're in, navigate to the download section and download the iOS 18 beta 5 profile. Now make sure to open the download location to find the file. From here, go to settings, profile downloaded, and tap on install, where you will also see information about iOS 18 beta 5. Then go to settings, general, software update. Tap on install to fully install the iOS 18 beta 5. From here, just wait for it to finish and your phone will restart. Once it is done, you can access your iPhone with iOS 18 beta 5 five fully installed. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. If you liked this video, then please make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions and thoughts down in the comment section. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this and hit the notification bell to stay updated every time a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.